Hi. Um, so this is all on Mammy. I don't really do intros, and for the like first video, it's basically it's gonna be me talking shit. Um, Hollow Mammy is just one of those games where like everything works really, like the sound, the music, everything about it, the gameplay is brilliant. It's one of those games, it's fantastic. Um, if you're paying attention to the guy talking, I am playing with PS4 pad. It's going to come up with Xbox controllers, but I think that's probably because they didn't put the PS4 stuff or PlayStation stuff in it, so that's, that's why. Um, I have played this before, but that was on PC controls and it was a very long time ago, um, so it's gonna be like one of those semi-blind playthroughs. Um, this first part of the game is just like he's just basically telling you to grab shotguns and how to do it. Um, it's nothing really uh, story-driven. I bit that part. It's just like knock open doors, and if there's a person behind it, they get knocked out. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, but this is where it gets really trippy. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna do voices. That's not me. <laughs> um, it's basically it's a it's a it's a bit like dream sequences, I guess is the best way to describe it. Um, the whole premise of this this game is like you're this sort of hitman, I guess. Um, but you have these different masks, and different masks give you different abilities. Um, it's 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 pretty straightforward. There is this like hidden story to do with like the Russian Mafia uh, beak it on as you just play this and just like beat people up and then not really care. Um, given the title it's obviously set in Miami. I'm not sure by the era but it's like bright colours and kick ass music so oh it has I guess and say like early late 70s something like that. Um, so this first bit you just get your first mask the first mask doesn't actually do anything. It's just like no powers. It's just a mask. But then as you progress through the game, you get different masks that give you different abilities. One gives you like see secrets, so that one, and then that one gives you fists of fury. Um, you're actually meant to start with just Richard, but <laughs> I had like six saves, well not six saves, six or seven attempts at recording and getting the sounds. To, like work, it's still not perfect as you can probably tell, but I got bored. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just use Richard for this first bit, and then after a few levels, that's when I'll start. Actually, fuck, that's when I start. Um, I'll actually use the masks and that. Um, because of that, I also have like samurai swords unlocked, but I think that basically just comes into play uh, later on in the game. We have like drops and stuff, which you'll, you'll see much later on. Whoop. First bit is nice and straightforward, just get a briefcase, uh, and then you have to drop it off, it's pretty cool. Um, I keep on saying um, and I'm already aware of that, so hopefully that can get ironed out pretty fast. There's another guy, there we go. You can like, actually kill them if I can remember that controller, there we go. Triangle? No, X. X to kill people. Um, most weapons will have like a one hit kill, but I think a few of them are like just a knockdown. So the briefcase, because it's just like a briefcase, you just knock them down. Um, it's pretty straightforward. So, the kind of aim of the channel is it's just like, it's just for my personal use really. It's just have a bit of fun. Not take it too seriously. Maybe upload some stuff, like a couple of videos, every so often. I'll be doing it around my own work, so I have to, you know, try and manage that as well. Um, the cool thing about this game, actually, I should say, is at the end of every level, we get like scores and grades, so it kind of incents you to like, oh, I'm going to play that level again because I want to get a higher score. Um, I think it's also leaderboards as well, so you, if you have like, a group of friends playing it, you can be like, well, I got more scores than you, so I'm better than you. This guy you come across quite often in like various different shops and he gives you like money. I think he's like your, I don't know, like manager? I'm probably like, this could be someone watching this video being like, oh my god, no, shut up. <laughs> Just absolutely butchering the story, but 
hey ho. Uh, by babysitter, they probably mean Hitman. Um, gonna try to keep these videos to about 12 ish minutes long. It's, it's basically so upload times for me on so bad. Um, and I don't really like if I'm watching YouTube videos and there's one that's like 12 minutes long, I'll watch that and then I'll go on to the next one that's 12 minutes long and I'll go on to the next one. But if it's one video and that one video is like half an hour long, I just for, for me personally, I can't I can't say focus and there's bound to be other people who like that, so I might as well do the same thing. So you'll probably know it's a fan of like 12 ish 12 to, finish, 12 to 15 minutes long videos. Um, that level I have done no word of a lie about seven times today. That's this level I've been like testing on like all my settings, so that's why I've just breezed through that without even paying any attention to it. The first few levels are gonna be like that. It's gonna be like just just absolutely going for it. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll definitely slow down as it goes on. So don't don't watch it get annoyed. Oh, free pizza, sick. Um. As I was saying about Hollow Mami, it's just one of those games where you can definitely just come home after work and just be like, you know what, I need to turn the brain off a bit and just look at bright colours and look at you know cool effects and listen to cool sounds and just just beat people up. It's really fun. There was an old game on the PS1 called Loaded, and it's the same sort of thing where it's like top-down hyper violence, and just fun. Uh, I'm probably going to use Tony in this one just because it's fun just to be able to kill people with one hit. Oh! Maybe not. Maybe I won't do that. Oh. Oh, this is where the fun really begins. <laughs> I thought it actually last a lot longer, but uh, I guess fuck, I guess not. Okay, so I'm kind of trying to remember what the controls are, because obviously when I played it, oh, fuck me, uh, when I played it before, it was on the PC. Whoops. The, the cool thing about this game is that you have like mm, like no, numerous ways of doing like tactics. So you could play through a game and just use like melee weapons. You could play through a game and just use like guns. Um, but it gives you like a different oh that was crap different opportunity to do stuff. So just then I had a frying pan with boiling water in it, which would have been cool if I actually hit someone, but terrible. So I didn't do that. Um, it also, if I can demonstrate, has a really crap, um, good engine, I guess you'd call it. It's like enemies are really responsive to certain stuff. So this guy's technically still alive. <laughs> but they were like, if they hear gunshots, they'll come to you, which is a really clever idea. So you can just like hide around a corner, shoot, allow guys to come to you, and then just like kill them in the corner, which is pretty cool. Um, there is a second game to this. I probably will play it. I'll, to be honest, I'll probably do a whole uh, series on Hollow Hol Hol Miami, and then move on to the second one eventually. Um, what I'll probably do for the channel itself is focus on one game at a time. Unless I'm playing one game and then like a major release comes out, for example, uh, I don't know, when Death Stranding comes out, which is the only game I'm really looking forward to at the moment, I'll just literally drop everything to uh, play that game, um, but then return back to whatever, you know, whatever game I had on the, the channel before. I'll, I'll get back to that and, and refinish that eventually. Um, I also have ideas. In the pipeline for like other, I guess you call it shows. So that might be like, you know, I will have my main series of games I'm playing, but then I will have uh, another video once a week that pops up, um, depending on what I can do that week and, and time. Really, it, it kind of sucks that like, I work in retail, so um, I have to basically manage this around the shifts that I get. And if you know, certain weeks I have the first day off, then I'll do it on the first day. If I'm not working 
if I've got like a Tuesday off, I do a Tuesday, or just, it basically depends on what I have off really at the end of the day. Um, so if you're that kind of person that expects, you know, certain videos to be up on the same day, then you get annoyed they're not, then you're probably not going to like this channel for, Christ, uh, for a long time. Until, you know, something happens that, that changes that. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, the, if, like, oh Christ. If an enemy gets um, his weapons knocked away from him, so just then, he, he will run to, like, any nearby weapons available on the ground, which is pretty cool. Basically, just shows the AI is, Christ almighty, is aware that, um, like stuff's on the ground, it's not just like, oh, there's a floating box, one of the floating box that they know exactly where, what stuff is and where it is, which is pretty cool. Um, the soundtrack to this game is just, <laughs> just the best soundtrack, I think, of all time. Apart from like maybe Mel Gear Solid, it is the only game that like really gets me going when, you, when you're playing it. Um, and the second one, dare I say, is even just, I think it's even better. Uh, probably even better than, probably even better than the first one. Probably it's annoyed like a few people, but hey, well. They also release like vinyls, and you can get like coloured vinyls, and it's just like the nicest looking thing in the world. Uh, wow, I'm stuck it. Um, it's like the cool design of this game is like even if you die and you get annoyed, you just like that retry buttons on on X or A if you're actually using the Xbox pad, which like I don't know about most people, but for me it's just like the first button I go to. And I like get frustrated, <laughs> so without even thinking about it, I'm like hitting retry even if I don't want to, which is quite good. Oh, there's a door there. Um, but yeah, it's. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna have it one more go, and then if I don't do this level, then I'll do it definitely in the next episode because there's some stuff I actually want to talk about. Um, but I thought best just keep us safe for this first episode. Um, yeah, that's me. Um, hopefully, some people will stick around. If not, whatever. Don't, whatever. <laughs> Bye.